Hello, I'm Burke. I work on the developer infrastructure team. We're the team that builds and maintains dev. And lately I've been working a lot with Nix to make dev faster and more stable for uh, all of you. Um, Nix can do a lot more than that though. It's not just for building these project environments. You can actually use it to do a lot of things, but one of the, the simplest and most interesting things you can do with it is to use it as a package manager, kind of like you use Homebrew right now. So for installing things like say RepGrep or, or Tree or things like this. Um, so this video is going to show you how you can use Nix as a Homebrew replacement and why you might want to. So let's just get started. Nix can do a whole lot of things. If I look for commands starting with Nix, there's there's a few here. You don't really have to understand any of them other than Nix env. Nix env has a whole lot of flags still, but you only need a few of them to, to use it as a homebrew replacement. The first one you need to know is how to list packages installed. So you can do Nix env query installed, and you'll see probably these two on your machine right now. Um, Nix is just giving you these Nix tools. So if you want to install a package, uh, the first thing I'd recommend you do is pop open a browser and go search Nix package search. Click the first link and then click this Nix packages unstable button. So there are two different versions of Nix packages essentially. One of them is for Nix OS, which is a Linux distribution that you are probably not running. Uh, Nix packages is a thing that runs on Mac OS that we are using. So let's say you want to install ripgrab. We'll search for ripgrab. And you'll see right away it pops up here. It's got some information about it, a link to the source that defines the package, platforms it runs on, homepage, whatever. The important part is this install command. And all you have to do is copy and paste it into your terminal and run it. So we can also verify that that did in fact, uh, let's just run ripgrab help. And sure, lots of stuff. So what we actually pasted in here is we'll deconstruct that. So nixenv dash i is install, dash capital A is attribute. And then this is an attribute path that it's installable by. You don't have to really understand what that means. Basically what you're always gonna type is nixenv dash i capital A Nix packages dot whatever you want to install. Now, uh, that's typically guessable. So you don't really have to go look it up here all the time, but if you can't figure it out, if it doesn't work on the first or second guess, you can come search here. You could also search locally on your own machine with um, Nix and dash QAP or something. Take a look at the manual, but I wouldn't recommend it because it takes a few seconds to, to generate the search. And this is pretty quick. Um, so now you can check to see that ripgrab is in fact installed, and you can see it is. Um, let's install something else. Let's say nix env. Uh, let's type out the full thing this time. Install, I think it's adder, nix packages dot tree. Yeah. And then I could run tree, but this is my home directory and I won't. Um, cool. So we'll list them again. Query. Install. You can shorten this to nix and dash q install, which is a little bit easier to type. Okay, let's clean this up. Let's say we're done with ripgrep and tree. We're going to remove them. Tree, ripgrep, we'll erase those. E stands for erase. Let's say we don't understand what this nssca cert thing is either. Let's remove it. Nix and e nssca cert. Not sure why that's there. Okay. Um, maybe now we decided we want a thing called ps tree. We want to list the, the processes on our system in a tree and look at something. Uh-oh, that failed. What happened? So we are unable to download this thing. Problem with the SSL CA cert. Hmm. That sounds unfortunately similar to the CA cert thing that we just removed. What if we... Okay, well maybe we should reinstall it, right? So let's go here and search for a CA cert. And yeah, that looks like the thing we removed. And you can see, first off, a couple things. One, this is a case where the package name does actually diverge from the attribute name. It doesn't happen super often, but yeah. So to reinstall this one, we type nixpackages.ca cert. So we'll paste that. And uh oh, 
That failed too because we still don't have the CA cert. Hmm. How do we fix this? So Nix, uh, because of the weird magical way it works, can do something really cool here. I can do nixenv list generations. And this is all of the different versions of my nixenv profile that have existed. And I can just do nixenv rollback to go back to the most recent one, which you can see here we have generation 6 active. Generation 5 was probably the one right before we removed CA cert. So let's roll back and then query installed, and we should see, yep, we've still got CA cert. If you rolled back and didn't like the result, you can also select a specific generation. Nixenv switch generation. Let's say we want to go back to just generation 2. And then, of course, I can list what we have, and that looks good too. So that's basically using Nix as a package manager in a nutshell. Um, there's one other really cool tool that I'm going to demo in the next video, but I think that's enough for this one. So if you have any questions about this, let me know in the Nix channel on Slack, and uh, let me know what you think of this. Have a good one.